Now we have created and set up our blog using WordPress. Now I'm going to show you how you can change your design. So once you're logged in, you just go and you click on the design tab. And right here it says themes and default is this blue theme. And let's see, I'm going to go ahead and change it to another available theme. To do that, all you have to do is just click on the theme and your theme has changed. If you click visit site, you can see the theme has instantly changed. Now that's the great thing about this is it changes instantly when you change something. That's the way that the, the PHP, the scripting language works, is it changes it instantly once you click the change. Let me just go ahead and change it back to default. Now there's only two by default. So if you want to add in new themes, it's really easy. Scroll down to the bottom of this window and it says get more themes and it said WordPress theme directory. Now you can uh, you can get lots of themes from here. You can also download a lot from the internet. So you can look here and it gives you different options. Uh, maybe you want to see only one column themes. So you just select that and you click show and it will show you themes that are just one column themes. Now you can test run it or you can download it. I like to test run first to see what they look like. So this is the theme. You can just kind of see it fills up the whole area. Okay, so you can just kind of see how this theme works. I'm going to close out of this one. Some other themes you might try is you might try maybe your website you want to have more of a blue tint to it. So you can choose themes that are tagged with blue. So you click on show. And it comes up with themes that have blue somewhere uh, in the information about them. There's a whole bunch here. You can see there's a bunch. Now, if you want to use one, what you'll have to do is download it, and I will show you how you can install that. Now, the theme that I want to use isn't actually found here. It's found out on the internet. If I go out to the internet, just go ahead and I'm going to go to Google. And I'm going to show you real quick, you can find many different themes. All you have to do is type in WordPress theme. And you get lots of different themes, people that provide their own WordPress themes. Most of them are free, some charge, but there are many free WordPress themes out there that you can use and you can apply to your website. But there's a specific one that I found earlier that I would like to use. And it's called the Videographer. Videographer WordPress theme, and this is done created by Zoom Start. And the great thing about this is it lets you put videos on your website, um, and you can come to zoomstart.com and you can just see it. And you can put YouTube videos, that's what this is for. It lets you put YouTube videos, organize them, categorize them, and so it gives you the instructions here. First of all, it tells you the features, and I've already researched many different themes. Before you install a theme, I recommend you spend time researching and looking to see what theme it is you want to use. Now, it tells you how to set this up and the different things you need to do. So the features, it just tells you all these great things. And then down below, it says setting up videographer. Now, this is something I recommend that you would follow step by step wherever you install a WordPress theme. So I'm going to be following these steps. Um, it says just upload it like any other WordPress theme. So you have to know how to do that. I'll show you how to do that. And then it says note, however, that this theme is meant for a new blog, not a blog with existing content. The theme is specifically designed for creating a video blog. So that's why I didn't want to leave a post when I first started this blog, because I knew ahead of time that it had to be a new blog. And then it says you need Jen Tornell's WordPress YouTube plugin. So we're going to not just change the theme, but we're going to have to put in a plugin. 
So I'm going to go ahead and show you how to, first of all, go about downloading the theme and installing it to your directory. So to download it, all we have to do is find where, I think he has it down at the bottom. There we go. Download videographer. So let's just go ahead and select on this. Save to disk. Okay, so I've just downloaded it to the desktop. Now it downloads it as a zip file. What that is, is it's a compressed file with multiple files inside. So let me just go ahead and just show you the desktop. It's right there. To uncompress it, right click on this and then go extract all and it's going to take the files and open them up so that they're not compressed and it's asking me where we want to put them it says desktop videographer thing I'm gonna go ahead and put it there and it takes just a second for it to extract the files and then I'm gonna show the extracted files so we can see what they are it creates a folder called videographer so we can go ahead look inside here are all of the files that it uses okay there's a bunch of PHP files and then there's some images as well these images and the PHP files are all used to make the interactivity work inside your WordPress thing in the next video, I'm going to show you how to upload these and store them inside the proper folders.